welcome to Zen Tech Teach, your center for teacher-created resources and tutorials. In part one of this project, we'll create your snow globe using Canva. Step one is to download your snow globe from the Google Drive folder I've shared with you. Click the link from your checklist to open the folder. You have two snow globe options. The first is what I'd call a head on view and the snow globe looks pretty flat. The second is a high angle and looks a little more 3D. Decide which snow globe you would like to build inside of. Right click the picture and select download. The picture will be downloaded onto your Chromebook and you can move on to step two. In step two, we'll be opening Canva and creating a new design. We have specific dimensions, eight inches by eight inches. To do this, go to canva.com. Once logged in, click the create button and select a custom size. Change the custom size from pixels to inches and type in eight by eight. Click create new design and you will see your blank canvas. Before you go any further, let's rename your canvas. Put in your last name and snow globe. You're ready for step three. In step three, we'll be uploading the snow globe of your choice to our Canva template. To do this, let's go to our Canva template and we're going to be clicking the upload button. Select the purple upload media button and then the gray device button. This will allow you to upload files that you've downloaded onto your Chromebook. I'm locating my snow globe right now And I'm going to click open. I'll click the image that's loaded and I'm going to make my snow globe almost the same size as my template. Step four, we're going to add a new page to our Canva design to give us a secondary space to build what's going inside of the snow globe we've uploaded in step three. And we're going to insert what's called a circular frame. To do that, click the add page button at the bottom of your canvas and go to elements. Scroll down to frames and find your circular frame. Click the image of the frame and pull it onto your blank template. You're ready for the next step. In step five, we're going to be dragging and dropping pictures or videos into that circular frame to create the background of our snow globe. We can layer pictures and videos to create a really unique and dynamic scene. Note, only images from pictures and videos will work for this step. Do not use your elements yet. Going into Canvas, I'm going to first start with a photo. I'm going to look for a winter scene. And I'm going to pick this one with the trees. I'm going to click and drag the picture on top of the frame. If I release, the picture will now be circular. If I double click, I can move the picture around. 
If you don't like the picture you first selected, you can click to add another. Dragging it over the circular frame will insert the image. Play around until you find an image that you like. For something more advanced to create a more unique look, let's click our elements again and let's add another circular frame. Let's make our second circular frame the same size as our first. This time we're going to grab a video. Click video. And I'm going to look for some snow. Just like before, drag your video on top of the circle to insert it. We want to be able to see the bottom circle through the top. So let's use the transparency button. Let's lower our transparency and see what this will look like. Play our video and we'll see it looks like the snow is actually moving around. You can play around with which video you want and switch it out as needed. Play around until you've created a look that you like. When you're done, you can move on to the final step for part one. The final step for part one of creating our snow globe is to add in elements and create a scene. Coming back into Canva, we've created this space, our background, and now we can use elements to add in fun little pieces. If you want something animated, try a sticker. Play around with your different options. Create the scene you planned at the start. Remember you can play around with your positions to create dynamic layers. If you want your snowfall video on top, Click the layer and use the position button to move it forward. You'll see the white snowflakes I added are now behind that screen of snow. When you've created the scene that you love, you're done with part one. To move on to part two of the project, click to the next video.